Good morning, third grade online learners. Uh, we are switching topics a little bit this week into a new chapter, and I think you'd be pretty excited about this chapter. It's called Extinct Animals. And just let me show you a page out of the book. So I know in third grade, third graders are very interested in dinosaurs. Uh, many years ago, I had a student named Andrew who talked every day about being a paleontologist. He wanted to work looking for dinosaur bones. He wanted to work in a museum. And I always wonder what happened to Andrew. I know he's local and he's from Trafford, Pennsylvania. So I hope to cross paths with him someday. Maybe he's done some interesting things um, searching for dinosaurs. Um, and some great movies have come out about this over the years. Jurassic Park, The Lost World different uh, journey to the center of the earth. So, um, you know, it was a really unique time in history, and this is a unique lesson today. So I thought I would read to you, since we don't have our books at home, and I'll show you each page. And after today, you'll have um, journal entries, three of them, and then you have your quiz on Thursday. Okay. Uh, animals of long ago, extinct animals. Dinosaurs were animals that lived millions of years ago. There were many species of dinosaur. A species is a group of living things that can produce living things of the same kind. So dogs have baby dogs, cats have kittens, dinosaurs have baby dinosaurs. So a species has... Uh, reproduces and has babies that are similar to themselves. Scientists know about dinosaurs because they left behind fossils. A fossil is the very old remains of a plant or animal. Scientists have found many bones, teeth, and footprint fossils of dinosaurs. The picture uh, that I'll show you in a second is of a Diplocoticus. Uh, it may have become extinct because the plants it ate died out. So this was not a meat eater. It was an omnivore, which means it only ate plants, and uh, it could be the plants died, so then the plant eater died. And he was a very large animal and probably had to eat lots of plants to survive. On the next page, we have some interesting animal, animals I'll talk to you about. Fossils help scientists understand what environments were like long ago. Fossils also help scientists learn about plants and animals that are extinct. An extinct species is one that has disappeared. Species may have become extinct if their habitat changes. A habitat is the place where a plant or animal lives. If a habitat changes, the living things there may not be able to find food, water, or shelter. Using fossil bones, scientists have made models of some extinct animals. Woolly mammoths are an extinct species. We know what they look like from their fossils and from old drawings on the walls of caves. The dodo bird is, an ex is also extinct. People destroyed the forest where dodos lived, so the birds could not find food. People also hunted dodos. So a dodo had very large body with short wings. It could not fly. Woolly mammoths were a, mammals that had thick, a thick coat, curved tusks, and a large head. And a woolly mammoth looks most like the modern-day elephant. A dodo bird looks like similar to many birds you might still see, but that, as far as we know, that's gone. We haven't seen any for quite some time. Extinct and modern animals. Many modern animals are similar to extinct animals. The woolly mammoth looked like the modern elephant. Fossils show that the rhinoceros and the, and the extinct Indocothri are relatives. Rhinos, like the Indocothri, are mammals, eat leaves, and they have feet with three toes. The emu is the large bird that cannot fly. It shares several traits with an extinct diatrauma. However, fossils show that the two birds are not related. A diatrauma was a large bird that is now extinct. It could not fly. 
An emu is a large modern bird from Australia. It cannot fly. Indicothri was the largest land ant mammal ever known. It was 18 feet tall. Although the modern rhinoceros looks fierce, it eats only leaves and grass. So there's some pictures there. You may see some of that terminology on the quiz. I know you will for sure about the diatrauma and the emu. Uh, so make sure you study your study guides because that's all on there. Next, we have crocodiles or reptiles that have changed very little over time. The extinct crocodile species was similar to modern crocodiles. The environment of the modern animal may be similar to that of the extinct species. Saber-toothed cats likely became extinct when the animals they ate died out. The Bengal tiger and saber-toothed cats share common traits, but they are not related. The saber-toothed cat was a fierce-looking mammal. It had two 18-centimeter teeth. Its jaws were used to rip apart the animals it hunted. It was not a fast runner because its legs were short. The animal is not related to modern wild cats, but it has been compared to the Bengal tiger. Bengal tigers are larger and have shorter teeth and longer legs than saber-toothed cats. So here's that picture on that page. Okay, next page. Endangered animals. Plant and animal species are still becoming extinct. An endangered species is one that has so few members that the entire species is in danger of becoming extinct. Laws have been passed to produce, in, I'm sorry, to protect endangered species. There have been su some success stories. For example, bald eagles are returning to areas where they were once almost extinct. Does a greater number of animals belong to a species if it is endangered to one that is not? Um, one that is not. So a greater number of uh, animals belong to a species that is not endangered. For example, the Florida panther, there's only about 50 of them left in Florida when this book was out, put out anyway. There might be more now. So it's in, considered endangered now, but if it has enough babies and we can get back into its habitat, it won't be endangered. The Eurasian peregrine falcon. These birds were unable to reproduce because they ate poisons used to kill insects. Queen Alexandra's birdwing butterfly. This is the largest butterfly known. Its wingspan could be as long as one foot. It lives only in rainforests of New Guinea, which are being cut down. We have to protect habitats or else we have animals which are endangered and could become extinct. Um, on the last page, we have just a visual summary and some questions to think about. <clears throat> Living things may become extinct if they cannot find food, water, or shelter. Some modern animals re resemble extinct animals. These animals may or may not be related. Unless endangered species are protected, they could become extinct. Some questions to think about. Why might a species become extinct if its habitat is destroyed? What is a fossil? What is the difference between an endangered species and an extinct species? Make sure you know the difference. Endangered is still around, and there's not, not many of them. Extinct, they're gone. Suggest a way you could help an endangered animal from becoming extinct. And one last question, classify the following animals as either extinct or endangered. Dodo bird, Florida panther, Eurasian falcon, saber-toothed cat, Queen Alexandra bird wing butterfly, and diatrauma. The last question is always the test prep. All the following can become a fossil except A, water, B, bones, C, teeth, D, footprints. Um, hopefully everybody water for that one that cannot become a fossil okay uh, third grade uh, hopefully you got a lot out of the um, <clears throat> lesson today um, your study guides are online with the lesson plans and you can see everything I just talked about is on the study guide and it will be on the quiz so make sure that you study these study guides because they directly follow what's on the quiz and that's the way to do best on this quiz. Now, the, the, um, the websites help enhance the lesson. 
that the best way to do good on this is using a study guide. All right, third grade, good luck this week, and we will see you tomorrow.